covered this in depth on my stream but for those of you that can't take two hours and want a neatly condensed eight minute recap tldr of the situation well this is the video for you so the h2o delirious situation and uh, that includes by proxy liz cats and eight uh, that ohm wrecker I almost called him h2o ohm wrecker because well we'll get into that so this whole thing basically started uh Nice little TLDR. Individual named Ohm Wrecker and H2O Delirious ended up going to court. They're currently in, I believe, a lawsuit of sorts. It's not looking very good for Mr. Delirious from what we've seen on the court cases. A lot of people, because it's the smart thing and beneficial thing to do, is to uh, basically say that Delirious, you know, damage control for Delirious and make it seem like it's not as bad as it really is right that's the smart thing to do obviously because delirious has more pull and more you know better reputation overall if you want to get those big youtube bucks those clicks and those subscribers you're pretty much forced into being pro delirious and just damage controlling pretty much any bad news that comes his way you either don't cover it or you try to make delirious look like the sympathetic figure in this whole thing Enter the current situation with an individual named Scott. Now, Scott is the biological father of one of H2O Delirious's baby mama's uh, kids. And H2O Delirious's baby mama is Liz Katz, Elizabeth Katz. Uh, OnlyFans thought, uh, you know, uh, former porn star, from what I understand, uh, just a really classy lady overall kind of a drama queen as well she constantly lies and to, to boot you know that's just adding a little more there i mean look at least she's got a nice rack and i'm sure delirious has found something or at least two things redeemable in her now they're in a situation where scott comes in tells a story in an interview with a channel called tjv and tjv puts this interview out there and um Scott basically just tells all for an hour about his situation and how he feels like he has nowhere else to go and how he just wants to see his son. Apparently, Elizabeth Katz, Liz Katz, is preventing Scott, the biological father of their son, Zane, and they're preventing, Liz Katz is preventing the, uh, the son from talking uh, to the father because of uh, certain circumstances that involved the father, uh, Scott's um, love life of sorts. Now, Scott has gone on the record saying that he got that, you know, taken care of and that the lady that was problematic in his life is now gone. So why Miss Elizabeth Katz continues to not allow, you know, the son, Zane, from talking to his father, I have no idea. However, fast forward, now it seems like just petty internet bullshit. So we got Elizabeth Katz now just going into chats and saying that Scott is an abusive father. All of a sudden we're hearing this, something threatening to, you know, threatening cats or something because I guess Liz Katz can talk to cats. Ha ha ha. You know, get it, cats, blah, blah, blah. I guess she could talk to cats. She, she meows her way in there. But yeah, she's just making all these claims now and she's saying that it's so over and that she's got all the receipts. She's got the proof. You know, Scott says the same thing, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, this is all very comical and something that would come out of like a Jerry Springer show because it is so dumb. Like, I know I'm supposed to feel some empathy for Scott or whatever. It, it really depends on what side you're taking because, again, there's going to be that side that wants to reap the benefits of YouTube clicks, money, and blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be like, oh, poor Delirious and whatnot. And then there's the other side that are going to be like, well, this is just an average man trying to talk to his son and they're going to get in their feels and stuff. I'm personally a dick, so I'm just just kind of jaded to this whole thing. I look at it and it seems like a train wreck because, I mean, realistically, you can really criticize both. All right, You can criticize both the parents for not be acting their age, you know, Liz Katz and, of course, even Scott, who, by the way, I've gone on record multiple times to say... 
not a fan of this guy. He seems very sketchy. He seems very weird. However, does that mean he's a worse parent than Liz and Delirious who have a history of manipulating, you know, not only their audience, but other individuals and using it for their own gain and constantly lying and being shady themselves? I don't know. Personally, my whole thought on this, all these people suck. They all freaking suck. There is no real good place for this kid to go. There's just pick your poison kid. You know, that's pretty much what it is. Or, you know, if, if anything, for being jaded, they would probably end up wanting to be with the one that can provide them the most money, which would be, you know, Liz Katz. It's it's really a messed up situation, right? Because if you go with Liz and Del Delirious, you'll have all the money and necessities i guess in the world or whatever if you go with the the scott guy apparent i kind of firmly believe he does care about his son he gets overly emotional which is you know something that's a very hard thing to you know demasculate yourself live on stream for this shit it's it's a little weird but yeah i mean there's just no good there's really no good outcome because even if you go to scott i mean scott practically shot himself in the foot in a in a interview or whatever, he went on a live stream with this TJB fellow recently, and he just looked fucking unhinged as hell. I have no idea why TJ allowed it to go on for as long as it did. The only thing I can think of is, like, content, which, I mean, if that's your prerogative, but my <laughs> personally, I didn't think it was a good move. I think it was counterproductive to making Scott look like anything, you know, like anything but unhinged. But that's just my criticisms for... How he handled that thing. He also seemed to, uh, TJV did seem to show, like, a lot of, uh, a lot more respect for Delirious than he did, given that Delirious just straight up, like, threatened to sue him and has been, like, a general dick to him. But whatever, I'm sure this is all a strategy or whatever. The point is, ever since that interview, or that, not interview, but that live stream appearance recently, about a week, it was this week, I believe, a couple few days ago yeah i mean that was probably a very detrimental thing to scott because it does kind of add credence to liz cat's whole claim about how scott himself isn't all there and isn't you know whatever and then you know top it off with the fact that liz went ahead and made these allegations of scott you know being abusive and stuff really doesn't help their case or helps scott's case and it kind of boosts their case a little bit you know so there's a, a whole lot of stuff happening here uh I, personally it looks like the, the the scott just kind of walked into liz and delirious's you know crummy little hands because again don't get it twisted liz and delirious are not you know the sunshines and rainbows of this whole thing they very much are bad faith actors they are manipulators and you know i wouldn't put it past them to weaponize the kid themselves to try to get an own on Scott or even just warp his mind into doing something that he doesn't want to do or just manipulating or gaslighting him. I mean, that's the type of people we're dealing with. Like the fact alone that, you know, H2O Delirious has admitted to have running alt accounts, right? That do all this stuff and they try to play it off like it's not out of malice when it clearly is. That just shows a layer of his character that he is a malicious bad faith actor. All right, that's pretty freaking obvious. Anybody with like an ounce, just an ounce of critical thinking skills can fucking determine this or just just pinpoint it. It's not that hard. You have to be incredibly stupid or <laughs> just bad fate yourself to pretend that Delirious is anything but malicious at this point, right? He could put on a nice little face and I'm sure he's charming enough when he wants to, but behind that he will stab you relentlessly in the back, all right? figuratively but maybe just literally as well as for elizabeth katz i mean again she just has a history of lying and uh it's, i mean that's pretty much it i mean you can look at her career too it's not very welcoming and professional itself but yeah she finds a way to try to monetize her children any way she can whenever the hell she can that's another thing you need to take into account what's worth more to you monetizing your kids or your actual kids privacy lady i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if you want to try to monetize that zane kids freaking whatever for whatever he's worth because that seems to be your mo that seems to be what you're all about 
It doesn't take a rocket freaking scientist to dissect anything about both of you superficial assholes. Pardon my use of language, but I can't help but just be super hypercritical of people like you because I'm about fed up with them. And after all the years of basically dealing with the same types of people as you are and being in the same types of situations where I have to either bite my tongue or just freaking walk away. I don't know. I guess, I mean, there's a layer that I take personally to this because I don't know. Shitty people just kind of suck and... Oh my god, you guys fit the criteria. As far as I'm concerned, Vanoss, Vanoss crew or whatever, are just like a bunch of old relics that are living off of their nostalgia at this point. Objectively speaking, there's nothing inherently special about them or anything entertaining. They came up at a profitable time and a time where the algorithm favored them, but they're not really important at all. Now that the market is oversaturated too, you can have a group of people being a young Vanoss and you wouldn't even know it because there's so many knockoffs there and there's so many people that do the same thing the one thing they don't have is the whole nostalgia factor nostalgia is a hell of a drug ladies and gentlemen kind of like liz cats is only fans but that's all i got for this recap pretty much to wrap it all up again in a nice bow there's a guy named scott he's the biological father of a kid named zane who he has with liz cats h2 delirious's baby mama H2O Delirious' his baby mama ended up taking the kid, now has him in his custody or her custody with Delirious. Scott's a little bit off the rocker. He acts a little stupid. He acts a little, you know, out there. Elizabeth Katz makes allegations about Scott being abusive, etc., etc. Now we're here. Now we're waiting for Miss Elizabeth Katz to drop the receipts as she said she's going to go ahead and drop a video. Essentially pointing out all the bad things about Scott. Cecil made mention that this will be handled in family court and that there uh, apparently will be criminal charges put against Scott as well. But we can only assume that that would be from Delirious. But we will see. Time will tell. In the meantime, that's all I got for you guys. That's a quick update. Remember, if you want to continue to make that YouTube money, getting that clout and, you know, whatever... Get your bag, baby girl. Make sure to be pro delirious. If you if you don't want that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Know. Well, you're one of the rare ones, ain't you? <laughs> anyway, see y'all in the next one. Bye.